Hello, guys! And whoa! What just happened there? Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, hello, guys, again. Um, welcome to Punch Tree Builds. Um, this is me. Um, I'm a Skyrim guard going for a jobber and oil rig. Um, quite, yeah, not really fitting, but still. Well, I'm off for my first day at work at the oil rig. Um, this channel is set aside for massive builds. Um, your sound card does not record sound. Oh, well, that's bloody helpful. Yeah, thanks for interrupting my game. What do you mean they record the sound? Of course it's recording the sound. It's the sound card. What do you think it's doing? Playing Tetris? Sorry about that, guys. Um, this channel's a set for big builds in not just Minecraft, but in any game I can get my hands on. This is the oil rig I was working on. Um, I would record me building it, but you can probably tell by the frame rate my computer is still a potato. And I'm arriving at the dock. Um, I did record it earlier and it went wrong because it was the frame rate was way too low. So let's see if I can actually get on the platform this time. And I did it. Sorry, last time I fell into the water. Um, this is the wall, not what I wanted to show you. Let me try that one again. Up the stairs. Da, 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 da. Right, this. This is the underside of the rig. Um, as you can see, there's the pump right there that's stuck in an oil. Um, I don't know what you call them. What do you call those with things, the oil that splurts out the water um, or the ground? what you go call it. Well there's my uh, liquid gold over there. It's the only name I can think for it. I can climb climb this ladder up to the next section. I have to be careful because there is multiple sections and I don't want to go on one. Um, right so this is the first floor thing of the oil rig. Um, I do apologize my rendering distance is set to um, the smallest one. Because when I set it up a bit, oh, whoa, it went slow. I could try and quickly set up a minute. Uh, see if that makes a difference. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, ah, just as much lag as before. Um, so this is the... I already said that. Uh, it's supported by lots and lots of um, scaffolding. I thought it would give it the um, sort of industrial look that I was going for. Uh, the only problem I had with this is I've built it way too big. Um, as you can see, it's sort of it's out of proportion with the ground. Regardless, it does its job, and that's what you could ask for, eh? Um, look out here onto the go all the way to the roof. Uh, I can show you the pump. Um, I'll, I'll turn everything on and show you how just how it works. Right, so first I need to switch the pump on. Um, this is filmed whilst it's in uh, beta, so beta, beta. Uh, so it's still being built. There are, it's very sort of I don't know. It, it just works at the moment. Doesn't look good, but then again, does any oil rig look good? So this is the pump room. Switch that on. And within a matter of like three years, oil flows out the pipe. Um, and I'll take you to the um, whoa, okay, I was expecting that the oil refinery room. Because if if the oil rig just pumped oil, well, I might as well have just made a pump on a stand. Uh, no, this does much more than that. This will take the oil and turn it into um, fuel. And then it pumps the fuel out. I'm sorry for my weird pronunciation of the word, but it pumps the fuel out to well wherever you want to. 
I am making this a custom map so you can download it and well use it as you wish. I would advise you to be very cautious with the oil though there is a very sparse amount of it. Um, this does take up oil a lot. Uh, as you can see I was running this earlier. Um, oh, oh sorry, I've just realised something. I forgot to show you the cooling crane as I call it. This is the um, here it pumps water out of the other side of the rig and this is used to cool the combustion engines which um, they help what's it called turn the, oil, turn the oil into fuel and if you don't have them then it just takes forever so mo half the fuel goes to the combustion engines the other half goes into being turned to fuel so all we have to do is flick the switch um, fall out the back of the crane I suppose that's one way to get out this should oh yeah and turn the pump uh, this one you don't have to activate this one for a while this is so you, if you want to let it stop pile of water you can I can I'll leave that unpushed and I'll come back to it later and show you just how much it's getting um, let's find an oil the oil um, like oh no it's already in the refinery then. Uh, I just want to show you the oil going through the pipe. I know it sounds dull, but it's quite marvellous, especially when you spend ages on it. Um, oh, sorry. This is the. Uh, I was in here a minute ago, the refinery room. Um, this tank is for water. The black one, obviously, is for oil. Um, and the middle one, there isn't any in it at the moment. I pumped some of it out that I already collected. This is the fuel. Um, it comes out as like a yellow liquid, which is pretty cool. Um, and this is where it gets changed over. Now, I I'm, I must warn you: the next room, you're gonna want to pull your eyes out and like eat them or like throw them away and replace them. Ready? Da da da! What a mess! Uh, flip these two switches. Um, and that powers combustion engines. There's not switch down here. Yeah, and now it's running. This will turn it, make fuel. See how quick that works. The the reason the water is here is to cool the combustion engines. As I said, um, otherwise you end up with a big messy explosion. And with lots of oil around, you really can't risk an explosion, or you'll end up with a B BP crisis and have to apologise on Minecraft Public TV. Um, so this, all that water goes straight into the combustion engine. It combines with an oil pipe. Uh, that wasn't intentional, but apparently it still works. So I, I didn't change it. So this should go into that pipe. Yeah, you can see it there. We have our first fuel, guys. Um, and now you're probably wondering, what the hell do you do with it afterwards? Well, that's a good question if you're wondering that, which you probably won't. Um, once I can get out the door, simply, um, well, first things first, you have to find your way up to the top platform. Currently, there is one access, and that's a ladder. It's the same ladder that you come from the um, very bottom floor from where the boat docked. It goes from the complete bottom to the complete top, really. Either that, or you can just jump out the top of the roof section and kill yourself. Um, the pipe up there, that uh, white one you see in the distance, that is the oil pipe. Um, so that's where all the oil is sent up. It's probably still loading. It takes a while because it's only using a redstone engine. And it says if you use a redstone engine, it doesn't work to maximum capacity. And this this is the pump controls. Um, fuel tanks. If you switch that one, the fuel tank that was in the previous room, it sends it along to these tanks, and so you keep your store almost like a petrol station. Pump out, and this releases these tanks and sends it down the pipe that you can connect to the back, like as so. This doesn't lead anywhere, but it's just an example of pumping out. Um, 
all, each tank has a separate pump out. You can connect them all if you wish, or destroy the other tanks. Completely up to you. It lets you power in multiple places up. Um, if you were to run this on a server, though, I do recommend you um, <coughs> play gods a bit with the oil and add some more. Otherwise, you'll soon find people complaining that their village has no lights. Um, so let's stick the fill the tanks on. Um, this runs wirelessly. Whoops. As you can see here, it transmits it on signal two, and then that signal gets it and runs it. Now for the non-techy parts. This is the helipad. Um, so if you have a mod that has helicopters and you wish to make a stylish entrance, well, here you go. Just plop the other pop through in there. Um, for safety reasons, we do have barriers just in case um, someone decides to look on the bottom platform and end up on the bottom, pl bottom platform with a broken neck. Uh, lovely health and safety. This is the executive office, uh, sorry, the executive cinema room thing. Um, not quite sure of the actual name. But this is for uh, many executives that come for like a business deal. They can put a presentation up on there with a little computer there. Hello, people. Oh, okay. Fine. I'll shut you down. You bastard. Anyway, um, so lovely, comfortable chairs here. And now. If you have a lot of people working at the oil rig, people are going to go, right, where do I sleep? I'm not going to sleep on the hard ground. Well, that problem is easily solved. Uh, whilst on the way, this is the recreation area where they can all hang out. There's a table, pool table with pool cues and a bar. Um, go back through here, smack into a wall. And this is the sleeping area with all the bunks in their glory. Um, if you go downstairs um, you arrive in the cafeteria with the good old fashioned lighting. You're not going to plonk a massive great big lamp in the middle are you? You don't have any or to eat. Um, as a little store thingy micro microwave? It's not a freaking microwave. Oh dear. It's very late here when I'm recording this. Thanks, y'all. Um, one of the cool features of a oil rig is that the way there's one way where they get rid of um, harmful gases, and that's to um, burn them. Um, and so. Voila, you've got the burning tower, um, or pipe thingy, whatever. Um, I'll go into flying mode now. Um, and I'll show you it. Once I can fly. Well, this is going to be one long day. <laughs> 